Hey guys, today I'll be sharing with you more about the brand new Jody Jazz DVHR Auto Mouthpiece. So in today's video, I'm going to share more about this mouthpiece. I'm going to demonstrate the mouthpiece by playing through various styles of music. And I'm going to compare it with the Metal Jody Jazz DV mouthpiece so that you can hear the differences. Welcome back to my channel. This is Daniel Chia. If you like more saxophone content, don't forget to give this video a like and click the bell notifications so that you'll get informed whenever I release a new video. Today, I'm very excited to play through this brand new Jody Jazz DVHR Auto Mouthpiece. I've had this for a few months and I've just been bringing it out for every gig for teaching and trying it out on all various genres of music. So I've been loving it so much and it's a really nice compliment to my metal Jody Jazz DV Mouthpiece, which is really Jody's flagship model that has been around for more than 20 years. So I love the power of the Jody Jazz DV Metal but I'm so glad that he has made one that is made of rubber right now and as you can see in the pictures this is made of beautiful hard rubber nicely engraved and this mouthpiece shares the same design as the metal variant so it has this secondary window which gives a nice full round bottom but you know with the baffle it can really cut and project when you need so as you can see this mouthpiece also comes with a nice metal shank and this i feel adds some bottom and power to the core sound so some of you might ask how different is the sound compared to the metal version so i'm gonna let you decide at the end of this video when i play both the dvhr and the dv side by side and you can let me know down in the comments but my general thoughts are i love that the design is similar but just made of a different material and having a slightly bigger mouth feel this will be very suitable for people who are very used to the size of hard rubber mouthpieces but want that extra power and edge when needed. So I feel that they both play very similarly but because of the bigger dimensions and the good hard rubber that is being used, I find that the DVHR will be approximately 10-20% warmer than the metal DV. So they are both equally free blowing and if you are used to playing a particular size reed, you might want to try various reed sizes as well as various reeds as I find that they're more free blowing so you might need to go up a strength or half a strength of reeds. So the best way to know of any differences is to hear them. So I'm going to play through both mouthpieces with the exact same reed, which is a Boston Sax Shop 2.5 reed, same ligature, same saxophone, which is a King Super 20 Alto with a solid silver neck. So everything, I'm going to keep it the most consistent and you can let me know if you hear any differences in sound. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So there you have it, that was the Jody Jazz DVHR Auto Mouthpiece. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want more videos, comment down below. Let me know what other videos I should make. And I'm also so excited for the DVHR Tanner Mouthpiece that hopefully should be out soon by the end of the year or early next year. So I can't wait to do a video for you as well. So that's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys at the next video.